News around the Fantastic Four has been insane. And to be honest, there's some things in that news that has Marvel fans a little bit worried when it comes to that movie. But Marvel has a golden opportunity with this movie to fix one of the biggest mistakes they made in phase four. So let's get sweaty and talk about how the MCU could recast T'Challa in the Fantastic Four and then get into why Marvel absolutely needs to make this happen. What's up, I'm King Cunts. Welcome back to the Nerds Underground. And I'm gonna start it off with this. Marvel needs to put T'Challa in the Fantastic Four. Because having Black Panther die in Wakanda forever is something that's still haunting the MCU fandom to this day. I mean, not only did it damage the box office, but there are still fans who will never rewatch that movie solely because of the death of T'Challa. And there were even some fans out there who reject the notion that T'Challa's son that we were introduced to at the end of the movie should carry on the mantle. And while we're rumored to get a new T'Challa after Secret Wars, it'd be an absolute W for Marvel to give us our king before that. I mean, when you think about it, before the untimely passing of Chadwick Boseman, they were planning on making T'Challa an anchor of the Secret Wars saga. And the Fantastic Four is the perfect opportunity for them to get their golden boy back. So let's get into this theory, because if T'Challa was truly that important to the next phase of the MCU, the Kevin Feige should be looking for every single way possible to harp on an opportunity to bring him back in. And it all revolves around the Fantastic Four coming into the 616 from another universe at the end of their movie. So spoiler warning here, because I did have to use some rumors to cook up this theory. But what I'm hearing is that the Fantastic Four will indeed take place in another universe, which side note absolutely makes sense since Pedro Pascal looks like an alternate version of Reed Richards. But that's neither here nor there. If using the rumors that Galactus and a female Silver Surfer are the main villains of that movie, I cooked up a theory that the Fantastic Four will find a way to save their Earth from Galactus by using Celestial Tech or possibly even that sphere that we saw at the end of Eternals to send him to another dimension. But by doing so and defeating Galactus that way, they unknowingly made their universe unstable, which opens up the door for incursions and opens up the gates for Black Panther to return. I mean, like they can literally rip this directly from the comic book panels. Like in Time Runs Out, the first incursion that happens in the universe occurs in Wakanda and Black Panther discovers it. And the first person he turns to is Reed Richards. I mean, like, come on, bro. Like it's all literally right there. They can do it as easy as this. At the end of the Fantastic Four, in a mid credit scene, we can see the Fantastic Four with their ship pulling up to Wakanda, looking at a rift in the sky that is an incursion. Then all it takes is to finish that up with the post credit scene, having T'Challa on the ship with the Fantastic Four as they get sucked into the 616 while studying incursions, leaving their universe behind while they see it be destroyed. And this sets up those characters to have a major role in the 616. But the setup with bringing in a new T'Challa tees up straight W's for Marvel in so many different ways. I mean, let's be real here. If they just did a good job on the Fantastic Four, $1 billion in box office is absolutely possible. But if you add in a multiversal T'Challa, just like I mentioned in this theory, then they might even be looking at $1.5 billion in box office just off the hype. Because we've seen post credit scenes drive up hype for movies before, right? You can look at the Venom 2 post credit scene. I mean, that's the main reason why a lot of people went to go see that movie. And even on the other hand, in the MCU, when you think about Captain Marvel, a lot of people forget that the post credit scene in Captain Marvel got a lot of hype because it gave us a look into Endgame. Like I said, post credit scenes don't have to be huge and monumental, but they can really drive up the hype here. And like, while the Fantastic Four is Marvel's first family, one of the most iconic things that the Fantastic Four has done is introduced us to the Black Panther, which adds even more value for them to actually do this on screen because we all know comic book fans like myself are suckers for these types of moments. But all that aside, doing this is bigger than the Fantastic Four because regardless of how you feel about using a multiverse of T'Challa, this sets up some iconic comic book moments with T'Challa in Black Panther 3 and in Secret Wars. Like imagine Black Panther 3 with a multiverse of T'Challa in the movie now. Like not only would the buzz of T'Challa from that Fantastic Four post credit scene breathe new life into the franchise, the plot of that movie would go absolutely crazy. Like the Wakandans could absolutely just reject the notion of a new T'Challa who himself is still grieving the loss of his Wakanda, but Shuri could then take him in 
allowing him to live in Acropolis in secret before needing him to fight to defend the nation from whatever threat is coming at them. And to even take more from the comics, the movie could end with T'Challa living in Acropolis as a Black Panther, but not as the King of Wakanda, while you have Shuri continuing on her arc from Black Panther 2, rising to the throne and serving as the Queen of Wakanda and having two Black Panthers. And therefore, similar to the same effect that Black Panther would have on the Fantastic Four, the box office would go crazy because you would have a whole lot of fans, normies, and just to be honest, nosy black folk going to the movie theaters, rushing to get there to know what the hell they are doing with this new Black Panther. Something they definitely missed out on when it comes to hitting their audiences in Black Panther 2. But that's not all, because the setup for his role in Secret Wars is impeccable too. Because considering the ending of Black Panther 3, having a T'Challa that's not weighed down by the responsibility as King of Wakanda, who can work with Reed Richards and the MCU Illuminati to fight against the incursions, is absolutely an epic setup. And that opens up the door for absolutely iconic comic book moments that happened with T'Challa during Time Runs Out in Secret Wars. I mean, you had Shuri finding out that T'Challa was allowing Namor to come into Necropolis, re-sparking that beef, while you also had T'Challa not being willing to destroy another living universe during an incursion, and it resulted in all of his ancestors pretty much coming up and clowning him. And that's not even to mention the moment where T'Challa holds the Infinity Gauntlet. Look, all of this straight out of the comics and it's something that I think they were actually planning to do before the loss of Chadwick. But as dope as all of this sounds, I don't have any high hopes that Marvel will actually do this. I mean, for some reason, they seem to be absolutely scared to take any risk when it comes to T'Challa. Like for example, we're not seeing him make a return appearance in What If Season 2, right? And there's also no rumors of a multiversal T'Challa showing up in Secret Wars either. And that's just really them dropping the ball because them trying to play safe with T'Challa like for whatever reason they have is an absolute slap in the face to fans. And while I can try and take some solace in knowing that the reboot will bring back T'Challa, like that's absolutely fine, this is literally a multiverse saga. So they could be taking so many risks with this, like testing out a new T'Challa or even bringing in a older legendary actor to make a T'Challa cameo who we'd never expect to be T'Challa, someone like Denzel Washington, Michael J. White. Like the sandbox they have when it comes to the multiverse is so expansive that it's pretty damn insulting to Black Panther and T'Challa fans that they have no plans to do anything with the T'Challa throughout this entire saga. But look, it's time. Like Marvel, you should absolutely add this to the Fantastic Four. Like give us our king and we'll let you know if he's valid enough to stick around after the MCU reboot. But hey, let me know what you think in the comment section below about all this. And if you like this video, hit that like and subscribe to the channel. Also check out the live streams with me and my boy Justin on Wednesdays and Thursdays at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.